One of the valuable features that Craft supports when it comes to an integration with your development tool of choice is the ability to create an automation rule that maps and updates Craft with the most up-to-date status of your work item after it has been changed in your development tool. So let's see how you can create this mapping. Let's head to the workspace settings and open the statuses and workflow. The top section of the page essentially represents the entire product lifecycle along with its statuses. So everything that is prior to development, when the items are open from a, a product team's perspective, uh, when the items are in progress in development, and when the items have completed development and you do may have uh, additional stages uh, along the way before uh, you uh, declare an item has been uh, deployed and published. Uh, so any kind of uh, um, uh, release notes or uh, additional content that needs to be uh, written and updated uh, with the information in regards to the item that was just uh, developed. When it comes to the automation rules, you can map each one of the statuses uh, in your development tool to craft statuses that we have here at the top. So for example, uh, the left-hand side represents the dev status, on the right is craft status. So if you wish to uh, map any items that come uh, new items that were created in your development tool and map them uh, to craft. So any new items, so that would be the status in your development tool. You can map them to uh, spec needed. Let's add that in. Uh, the next step would be uh, items that continue on uh, in their development process. So once the uh, item status changes from new to uh, to do, then you can change it to um, ready for dev. Let's add that. The last step, uh, sorry, the next step could be um, in progress. So this would be mapped to um, at dev in progress. Uh, same goes for, let's add that in, uh, another status for um, uh, for in testing, that could be in QA, uh, as well as done to say that this item is dev done. So the development has been completed and now um, you can continue on doing your uh, the additional work that is required post-development until the item is completely deployed. As you can see, the automation rule uh, essentially applies from this point forward. If you do wish to, uh, to apply these rules uh, to existing items, you would be required to click on these, uh, uh, these buttons to apply the rules for existing items that you already have in your uh, backlog management in Craft. One thing to bear in mind is that in order to recognize the status that is coming in from your development tool, we need to have at least one event fired from the development tool into craft. So if no new items are being uh, uh, synced across into craft, we wouldn't be able to recognize the new dev status. So run a quick test shoot out uh, and trigger some updates uh, for uh, to represent each one of uh, your statuses in your development tool in order to create this mapping.